Oh, it is chilly, but hello everyone and a very happy new year. I say that because I know this is my first video. Oh, <laughs> literally down on an ice rink right now. Um, but this is actually the first time you're seeing me in the new year because the Affy jumping video was secretly filmed in December. Don't know if anyone, uh, anyone caught that. Um, so yeah, apologies for my skin at the minute. I've tried to sort it out with some makeup. But turns out eating two mince pies a day for a month isn't the best for your uh, complexion. There comes the old man and Brinny. <laughs> Cantering over, just going up to catch them now. But today is a very, very exciting day. I've literally been waiting for this for over four years now. So it's a very big day, but we'll talk about it later. Gonna be taking the horse box out. Oh, look at that little hobbit. She is so slow. Anyway, let's get these naughty ponies in first. So, retrieved this naughty pony. And actually, Ace, you're a bit of a naughty pony. Oh God, I thought Brinny was <laughs> being naughty then. So today we are going to firstly ride Ari for the very first time, or me ride him for the first time, I should say. So if you don't know, he has been away with a lovely, lovely lady who has worked her absolute socks off with him. We'll go into that uh, a little bit later, but it's not necessarily been the easiest one to break. But now he is broken or backed. I don't know what the completely technical term is for the level he's at. He's basically walk, trot, cantering under saddle. He's hacking out. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and have my first ever sit on him, which is super exciting. And we're taking the horse box to hopefully bring him home and uh, start, start our ridden career together. Steady little one. So yeah, very exciting. Got to finish doing horses this morning. And then we're gonna head off and we'll chat a little bit in the lorry about how he's been. Oh, don't worry, I said it for you this morning. Do you want to say it now? Yeah, I'm going to say Happy New Year, everybody. I hope 2022 is happy, healthy, prosperous for everybody. Oh, I thought that was going to rhyme then, but it didn't. But it was still, <laughs> still lovely. Well done. So, in the horse box, fingers crossed, we get him in it. We did have a little bit of a nightmare. I feel like I've not vlogged about this at all because it was in the lead up to Vlogmas, and honestly, like, my brain was just a big scrambled mess. So like, you've, you've kind of missed some stuff. So sit tight guys and let me fill you in. So we took him in October. However, it did take a little while to get him there because we tried to load him. And Ari was like, you know what? I'm actually fine with not being broken. Um, and yeah, we basically, we couldn't load him. And we did get him on our trailer. And he was like, he was fine, but he was just, Started yeah, like once you started boxing him all in and like shutting yeah. all the doors and everything, he just got a little bit panicky and we were like, we don't want that to be his first experience that he kind of really remembers because he hasn't travelled since he was, what, a year? Just over, yeah, I think it would have been about 15 months. Yeah, so that was like the last time he'd actually been in, a, in any form of transport. Um, so yeah, we got him to the point where we were like, like we could start the car and go, but we also, like he may have an absolute meltdown in there and we do not want to, you know, really upset him or damage him or anything like that. So for that reason, we postponed for a little while and we actually ended up getting the vet out and we sedated him and traveled him with a bit of light sedation and he was just the most chilled out bean ever. Like he, he loaded on Daphne, fine. He? Yeah, he traveled on Daphne, Daphne, <laughs> Daphne. Um, and yeah, that was, it, it was a much less stressful way of doing it for All him us. and us. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, guys, the reason I couldn't vlog is because Mum was just bored, like crying, like it was openly. Very stressful. 
the other mummies and grannies and daddies will understand how stressful it is traveling. Yeah, no, no, oh, no, I'd agree it was stressful. And it's like, it's just the what ifs, isn't it? Like, you just don't, yeah. if something happens, they're just, they're too big to intervene. It's not like a dog where you could just like grab a dog if something's yeah. going wrong. Like, it's just, yeah. Anyway, we're hoping that now he's had that positive experience because although he was sedated, he wasn't like zonked. So like he will, he will hopefully remember it and remember it he being like a nice really well, chilled by experience. By the time we arrived, he'd come round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we managed to get him off calmly because we think that's where the problem stemmed for when he went really willingly onto the lorry while we were having a practice, loading practice, and then scared himself coming off when he stepped on uh, a yeah. plastic cover between the ramp and the back of the lorry and it sort of deflated and he thought that the ramp was going to collapse. He thought the ramp was jelly. Yeah, I failed to mention that. We'd done so much loading practice with him. And he was a lamp. And he was doing so on. well. He was on this box. Well, no, sorry. He was on the little box and the trailer and then we sold the little box and then, yeah, we put him on here. And yeah, like Mum said, we had a bit of a disaster trying to get him off. Um, anyway, so that is kind of the story. We did obviously get him there eventually and Becky Schofield, who is the lady who has done all of this amazing work, has done so much with him, done loads of groundwork. Obviously she's broken him in and just kind of really built a lovely relationship with him. So we're hoping that today, after I've ridden him, we'll just be able to oodle him up onto the lorry. Um, but if not, we will go back to what was plan B and we'll yeah we'll get a vet back out and then our we've got back out. our lovely vet back out bless him <laughs> um sedate him get him back and then we've actually been in touch with a loading lady so we are going to have her regardless of how today goes just because we like we definitely want to make sure that loading isn't an issue and that he feels super comfortable whilst traveling so that is kind of that part of the plan so let's hope it goes uh, goes to plan yeah, let's otherwise hope that we'll be goes plan. Definitely will be having an outing for nothing. Yeah, otherwise we just had a really expensive trip over to Becky's. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, obviously the other bit of the plan is for me to have my first ever ride on him. Oh my God, I literally, I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. Oh. Cannot wait. So, Ari is our first kind of proper homebred. We did have an accidental foal before, um, but that wasn't, it wasn't planned at all. We just bought him there who turned out to be a foal. Um, so yeah, Ari's like the first proper homebred that we really planned and we really, really wanted. Um, he is Lara's foal, my old event horse. We ended up putting her in foal when she went lame kind of mid-season. And ever since then, I have dreamt of this day of sitting on him for the first time. And yeah, I can't believe it's here. He's now, he's, well, I say he's rising five. He's five in August. He was such a late little baby. So he's kind of four, four and a half. He's got to be- Not even that. Not even that yet, my word. It's very exciting, but he is a bit of a quirky character. He's actually been away at the breakers for a lot longer than a normal breaker would be. He's been there, what? over two nine, months nine weeks nine so weeks i love how every like every i say something then i just have to fact <laughs> check it with you who actually knows the the ins and outs um yeah hey he's been there That's nine weeks longer though. it's not loads longer but he's just he's an odd character because in some ways he's really sensitive but in some ways he's really bold and he just it just takes a little bit of time to kind of work your way around him and see what's gonna like actually upset him and what he's kind of just Thinks might think, upset yeah, him. that's a good one. Yeah, that, yeah, like thinks might upset him because like, a lot of stuff he'll he'll kind of throw a little tantrum, but then he's absolutely fine, and it's working out. Like, was that tantrum just because he's used to throwing them, or is he genuinely upset and scared about something? Um, so Becky's done a wonderful job of negotiating that, and she seems. I mean, she's made out to me that she really likes him, and that he's now going really well. I think it just took a little bit of time to kind of a bit longer than a normal one and Lara was the exact same like Lara was one of the most difficult horses I had to ride she was lovely and she was so rewarding and she was amazing like I absolutely trusted her with my life cross country but at the same time I've never fallen off a horse so much and she was just quirky like quirky is the way to describe her so like you wouldn't really know what was quite gonna upset her but she was honestly like she is an amazing amazing mare and I'm hoping Ari is going to be the same so that's kind of us all caught up guys we've got about half an hour left and we'll get them hoping becky's gonna hop on in first 
um, and I think we'll just ride him in the arena. I've got my champion hat and body protector. I'm going to be riding him in a body protector for the next few weeks just to be extra safe. Obviously, like he's still completely green as grass. He's only really had a ride on for about a month now. So yeah, exciting, but a bit nerve wracking. But I think I feel alright. I just need to make sure that I'm not too crazy around him because he won't like that. <laughs> Becky's very calm because she does this full time, whereas I'll be like, getting on the other horse. Anyway, anything else to add, Hobbit? No, I think we're good. I think we're all good. Right, we'll see you when we get there. I've actually, a little snack call wise, it's not the best today. We've just stopped at the petrol station. I've decided to get some Japanese style rice crackers. I wanted wasabi peas, they didn't have any. Anyway, that's the fun fact for today. See you later. Look who we found! Hello, little Asbo! Hello, sweetie! Have you been good boy? What are you doing here? You looked bigger in the videos that Becky was sending me. I thought you'd suddenly grown to 16 too, but I don't think you have. You're a good boy. He looks very clean. Doesn't he? He looks really well. Very shiny as well. Yeah, amazing. Look at the white shiny. legs. He says, oh my goodness, he says, who are you? Somebody's been very busy grooming you. Harry. He's literally like, what? <laughs> I don't even remember you. Go away and stop annoying <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, like, I live here now, thanks. Because I reckon like you, you're the nugget lady. <laughs> yes. Right, so we've got him all tacked up. Good boy, Harry. And Becky's going to get on first, just so I've seen it in the flesh. And then I'm going to hop on. Oh my god, I'm excited. Good boy. He's looking incredible though. <laughs> what a smart little pony. Of course, actually. So doesn't he? How big do you reckon he is, Mum? No, don't worry, I wasn't videoing that. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not mean. Not that mean, anyway. I was about to say, everyone, this is Becky, and then she disappeared. That's Becky's arm through there, guys. There we go. <laughs> There we go, right. Here's Becky, and she's actually dressed up for us, guys. There'll be some videos I can't put in that she sent me because she's in her pajamas. <laughs> and she is cradling a neck strap there, which we're going to pop on. Yeah. No, I love a neck strap, literally. I always want one on. Right, Ariane, let's get you out. Never agreed to it. Becky, that's on camera. <laughs> Becky's not a fan of the vlog, guys. <laughs> oh, Harry, this is meant to be B-roll, darling. <laughs> what are you like, handsome boy? Am I like, oh, put my foot in the stirrup for camera. <laughs> there you go. Guys, Becky's nervous about being on camera, right? So, everyone be nice. Be kind. Everyone be kind. But there right. we go. He looks bigger under saddle, I think. Like, as soon as you get on, he looks bigger. Right. We're done. <laughs> Proof. Are you impressed? <laughs> so, this is what you've been working on this whole time? Yes. <laughs> I'd like to make sure I go out of my way for everybody. <laughs> oh, Ari, you're so smart. You. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'll walk further away. Other people, when they break horses, they rise. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. We 
with you or do you want me to whatever you, you think alone? best he'll, he'll be I'll be fine. led by like whatever like yeah whatever you think is best to do how are you feeling Meg <sighs> I'm excited I'm actually more excited than I am nervous I feel better seeing Becky ride him. How are you feeling, Becky? Are you nervous? I'm, I'm just pleased I'm not on camera any longer. <laughs> <laughs> right, how do I do oh, this then? Very excited. <laughs> oh my god. You'll be fine. No, I'm Mommy. like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting on my home bed. Yeah. Sorry. It's your An exciting moment. That's what I was worried about because you know some horses just get on and you're like, oh, I don't like the feel of that. I was worried about, yeah, it's just not liking. Um, right. Just, he's a horse. Okay. Right. <laughs> don't be worried to put your leg on, just you ask him. I am worried. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't actually sat on a newly broken horse for a while. No, that's true actually. I can't even, well, I suppose Dora. Like, I don't want to go forward no. with her. <laughs> it feels like she can't ride. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so I thought I would keep this video kind of as raw as possible so I'm leaving like every video clip that we got in um, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of like my initial reactions and my reactions watching it and oh my goodness I'm just in love with his trot at the minute it's so floaty I'm so happy I feel like he's like what the hell is going on must be unnerving for them, having different people on at this early stage of their education. Just not used to it. He's only used to having Maggie on the ground. Okay, so you've just heard that I was out of breath. I was so shocked at how much leg I actually needed to put on him. Although, watching this now, like, I really like this trot, and it felt really slow riding, but I think it's just because he's got such a nice floaty trot, you don't get that kind of choppy pony really feel. Trot. And so it almost feels like you need to put loads of leg on. But you can see I'm getting a little bit braver with him now, and I'm actually encouraging him forward and letting him use his kind of head and neck a little bit more. He stays so naturally round, like what you're seeing now isn't a trained outline at all, like he just has a very nice natural head carriage. Noticed it when he was like a two year old trotting around the field. You can move sharp with them up. Yeah. I think it's quite nice to get used to him with him being a bit lazy. I think he'll be sharp enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath. That's, that's how I like them. <laughs> hey, might be your horse, Mum. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling he's going to be one of those ones that are either very lazy and then explode from nowhere. 
They're like bear. Yeah. Mind you, I love bear. Good boy. So back to his kind of natural head carriage. You can see here he's just kind of dipping down to find the contact, which is really nice. And it does mean that when I get to the point of doing a dressage test, I'll be able to push him up into that contact. And we should have this beautiful sort of elevated trot where he's working over his back and he's pushing from behind. But it does mean at the minute, if I'm being a bit of a wimp and riding too short, he really kind of coils back to me. And that's where Becky rides him so beautifully because she does give him that extra rein because she's brave. Um, so that is something that I'm looking at now that I just need to make sure that I'm not kind of holding him too much. But oh my goodness, he's looking so smart. I'm literally falling even more in love with him. So I'm preferring the look of this trot now. I feel like I'm chasing him less and he looks quite nice and relaxed. I am preparing to go up to Cantor in a minute, which is obviously the most nerve-wracking part. You'll see with Becky, he did the tiniest buck going into Cantor um, because we're just trying to teach him that he does need to kind of strike off straight away and not run into it. But I was pleasantly surprised with that little Good Cantor boy. transition. It was very undramatic Mad. and yeah, quite nice and smooth. He didn't come above the contact or anything. It was weird saying good boy after all these good girls years. I'm just so lucky that he's kind of built oh, so beautifully that he does heart. find it very easy to kind of Becky's come down and be relaxed. But yeah, look at me cantering my home run for the first time. Oh, so exciting. Boy. The whole time I was cantering, I was just picturing what would this be like into a fence. Like I was trying to imagine that canter and then what his jump would feel like as a result. This will get Maggie fit for Bammington. <laughs> yeah! He's so soft, it's lovely. Good lad. Okay, so coming up in a second is a prime example. You see there how kind of overbent he's going. So that's him. Like, if I go too short, he just, he like matches the rain. And yeah, so I just need to be a bit braver. And watching this back is so useful because I could afford to lengthen my reins there. But obviously, I was just riding a little bit tentatively. <laughs> he's like, and stop. Good boy. Oh, well done. He feels lovely. Like he, you really have to get your leg on him, but I'd rather that. Yeah. Like, he's like, can I stop, please? <laughs> Good boy. Well done. I've officially rid of my homebred. Hooray! Super. He feels really nice there. Like I think he's going to be so smart, isn't he? He's, yeah, he's going to be really he's nice. Just, Good boy. Come on. Not behave. Now. Yeah. Good. Now, long, slow journey of uh, getting yeah. him schooled and Watch this and... face, guys. Exactly. Well, it's not something you can rush. He's still very, very yeah. young. He's like, I want to stop, but I also just want to walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Feet are back on solid ground. I made it. Becky's just quickly showing us him walk down the road just so we can see him in traffic and everything. So I'll film that a little bit and then, uh, yeah. We'll try and load him up and get him home. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? Moment of truth, guys. So many years Got the barricades. By. Will he go? He says I live here now, thanks. Looks like you're changing in boy. Oh, that took hardly any time at all. Sorry guys, we had to I know. use I know. these which were very useful so I couldn't film, but he was fab. Go. Good boy. 
pieces, but I don't want to go. Oh, good lad, Ari. Yeah, it actually feels like they can't run away. Smile. Oh, not from Hobbit. <laughs> so big smiles coming home. That was so easy loading him. Thank goodness we were a bit apprehensive, but no, he was actually easy. It took like two minutes, maybe. Like I said, I just stopped filming because we were kind of holding the little um, orange planky things. Uh, yeah, but that actually worked to treat. He was really, really good. So very stress-free, and you'll see now. Let me show you there, he is travelling like an absolute poppet. He hasn't moved a muscle, he's whinnied a few times, but literally has stood stock still, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna properly debrief when we get home, because we'll yeah, get him off the box, and we think we're gonna put him out with Ace and Brinny, because they're kind of his like little pals. Um, so I'll video that for you guys, video the reintroducing them, because it's always sweet. Ace has really missed him. Um, and then yeah, have a little debrief about my ride and that you know how how we felt and everything. You happy, Hobbit? Yep. Very pleased. Becky did a fabulous job, didn't she? Becky has done the most amazing job, and yeah, we've already booked her in to have Winnie <laughs> in a few months' time when I'm at Badminton. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. I know I'm going to have about a billion people asking me how they can use Becky, but secret. It's, it's top secret. Um, no, it's not, but she isn't on any social medias or anything because she's so amazing. She has a list as long as her arm of people wanting her to break their horses. So I think she's kind of kind of a word, word of mouth um, person. Honestly, she's so amazing. We're lucky that we managed to find her. Anyway, we will show you how Ari gets on when we're back, we're literally five minutes away. Sorry guys, a bit of thud there. <gasps> Here they come, the charge of the light brigade. Oh, your friends are coming, your girlfriends. Hello! They're like, oh, have you bought something? Is there fresh meat? This is not risking it. Hi! You come to see who we've brought home. Ah! <laughs> oh. Remember <laughs> your friends. Oh, Jam says, oh yes, that does sound like a boy. <laughs> He's like, wait! Oh my word, look at that fat thing go. <laughs> there, isn't that lovely? So could you girls, could you stand there? That's helpful. Well that went Easy. very well. Yeah, she came straight off. Straight off. He was pleased to see the girls. You're not, we're not going to do fence kitted, I'm afraid. No. Look from here. He says, oh my goodness, I recognise you. He says, hang on. Look, he's grown. <laughs> he's grown. <laughs> Must be about 16 hands. Telling you, you really want to see his grandpa. We're going by Daisy. <laughs> What's the best way to go around this way? Oh. Okay. Oh, we're going to get your white leggies. Yeah, that's Dirty. true. So much mud. Yeah. Good boy. Who's this, guys? They turn the lights on. Good boy. Hey, see. Hey, see. Who have we got here? Ace is asleep. Oh. <laughs> is that your friend? Good boy. Ace goes squeal, isn't he? No one bang heads. <laughs> I hate Why do you always have to do that, Ace? It's such an awful sound. Pop him in Dora's stable for a He's bit. He's like a mare, Ace, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> he has got the most horrible. Yeah, but it scares me. He's literally done it since we had it, but every time he does it, it sends a shudder through my, through my spine. Like a dinosaur noise. Good boy. You're home, darling. Right, some tea time and rugs, and then you can go out with Ace for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're all rugged up, ready to go out. He's just gonna go out with Ace because mum's decided that. <laughs> can't, can't give you any other reason, guys. We're about to turn them out. You've got two rugs on, Ari. You're a lucky boy. I think that's what Bex has had him in and it's going down to below minus five tonight. So it is gonna be chilly chilled. It's been quite mild recently, but yeah. Sunny going cold. Right, Ari, should we reunite you with grandpa? Boy, come here. Good boy. Hmm? Who's that? It's like nothing's changed. Very nice and calm. Good boy, AC. Should we give you some more grass? You're ridiculous. Did that scare anyone else? Honestly, you're such a freak sometimes. All right, let's give you some grass, boys. I love you, Zine. Bless him. So there we have it, guys. My first ever ride on my first ever homebred. Incredible. Yeah, like I feel so happy. And it went so smoothly. And I do have Bex to thank for that. She's done the most amazing job with him because he isn't the easiest horse for sure. He's not necessarily like really naughty or anything like that. He's just. I don't know, he's just a bit sensitive and like now he's, he feels absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be many a bump in the road, but yeah, I was like so impressed with how much I could like really get my leg on. Like he was actually lazy. I was kind of expecting to be one of those ones where you're like, sit tight. Um, but Bex has done such a good job of, you know, making it so you can really move around on top. You can pat him on his bum. You can give him a kick and he doesn't kind of freak out about it, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm so, so chuffed. And yeah, he's just so comfy to sit on. He's like, because some youngsters that I've had in the past, you literally feel like you're sitting on a gate to start with because they've just not filled out at all. And he's still like... <laughs> See, see what I mean every time it really like it does something to me it's such a horrible sound um yeah like sometimes they can be so weak at this kind of age but he just felt like fantastic it's like a big armchair that you sit into yeah so so excited look out for the vlog which is going to be the first ride of Ari at home that's going to be coming soon probably the next video out actually. Um, Bex is very kindly gonna come over here, but I'll explain more about that in the next video as to why we're doing that. But oh, I'm so happy. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I'm sure many of you, certainly the people that have followed me on Instagram for a long time will have seen him literally from the day he was born to this stage. Like it just feels so surreal that I've actually sat on him for the first time. I'm so excited to get going with him. Um, just a little overview of kind of where I'm gonna go from here. As you guys know, I like to take it super slow with my young horses. I think the worst thing you can do is kind of overface them at this stage and rush them or just make them, you know, like not enjoy work and make them bored or sour of it. I think that's, you know, an absolute no-no. So what he's gonna do is loads of hacking. I mean, it is January, so it is quite weather dependent. Um, and then we'll just bumble around in the arena. Then he's gonna have a little bit of time off just to process everything he's learned. And then he'll come back into work once the weather's improved a little bit. And then we'll go from there. We'll kind of maybe pop him over a fence and then maybe towards the end of the season, get him out to some competitions, perhaps a little unaffiliated one day event or two at the end of the season. 
that's the aim but you know whether we'll reach that or not doesn't really matter hopefully next year for sure there'll be area venting vlogs potentially this year also i know people are going to ask why i didn't break him myself firstly as i've said a million times in this video he is a bit of a quirky horse um I mean, you wouldn't think it now because of how good he is, but he just needed a lot of time spent with him, which is one thing I have very little of. It's been such a busy time of year for me. We've obviously got nine horses, like the day does just vanish every single day. And also I really cannot afford to half-heartedly do something or like do it in a slapdash manner and then end up hurting myself. Like it was so imperative that A, he was done completely properly by a professional and B, that I didn't do something stupid and hurt myself, you know, being self-employed, I would be a little bit stuck if I, um, if I, yeah, couldn't work or do anything. So this was certainly the smart way to do it. Also, he just needed it. He needed to grow up and like go to a different environment and just sort of see life a little bit. So it couldn't have been more perfect. And I cannot thank Becky enough. Like. Thank you, Becky. If you're watching, you've done the most incredible job. And yeah, I'm just super excited and happy with my homebred horse. I cannot wait. Watch this space. This is the start of Ari's journey. Oh my God, imagine if in a few years time I could cut this in saying that we're going to Babington. Can you imagine? Watch this space, guys. Maybe one day that little homebred that I've sat on once in my life will be going to Babington. Or just any event. I can't wait. All right. I live, laugh, love you, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone.